Hey, so in this tutorial we're going to make an infinite looping star field and we'll start off by making a new composition that's 2000 by 2000 pixels. Um, in that we'll make a new shape layer, we'll make that black as the background and then we'll duplicate that and we'll make it white for the stars. So if we label this one background and make it a guide layer and then on this one you want to add CC ball action and this creates a series of balls and if we turn the scatter up to about 800 grid spacing to 20 and the ball size to 6 we have something that looks like stars so if you take this and you add a new camera to the layer um, we'll bring up the position properties and keyframe that here We'll make the composition five seconds long and then we'll go to the end and we'll put another keyframe. So at the beginning you want it to be at zero. When it gets to the end you want to move it back to somewhere around minus 5000. So you see we want to try and get rid of any large ones like this so we'll just move it forward 10. So now we have our camera moving through the stars we can take this composition, bring it into a new and copy that background, put it in the new one because it's a guide layer so it won't show up through the composition. So now we have our stars. If we bring up the opacity properties here and we'll have it fade in over a second and fade out over a second as well. So I'll put keyframe there move to the end down to zero so the stars come in and then they disappear so if we take this composition and we duplicate it we want to bring it to about two-thirds of the way through our timeline duplicate it again and bring it back so what this will do is it will take this composition and it will loop it from the in point so the, this point there is the same as this one here. So that will form a loop. And hopefully if the blending of the opacity is smooth enough, then you won't really notice the different compositions coming and going. So we'll do that one more time, but we'll move them further back to about a third of the way through the timeline. So now we have three loops of the stars and at the moment they're all in the same position so if we take these two and we rotate them by 90 degrees and we take these two and rotate them by minus 90 it will just add some variation so it won't be the same loop over and over again so now we take this composition and again we add it into a new comp take the guide layer put it back in this and we can turn the guide layer off now because we don't need it to be transparent. Um, and there we have a five second loop of stars. So if you now make the composition, say 20 seconds, and you want to extend this out, we could do time remap and loop out. And that will that will give you a loop that's a consistent speed, but I've created a script here called loop control and what you do is you take any pre-comp and you just click loop control and then it will look like it's paused so what you do is you drag the layer out and there's an angle control up here that completely controls your loop and so you can get loop control from my website um, it works on any pre-comp any size or duration um, all you do is click the button and you have full control over the loop. So like and subscribe if this helped and leave any comments if you want me to help you out with anything. Thanks for watching.